welcome back to the channel here got another video coming for you on this one on this one right here we're going to show you how to drain and refill the coolant on a 2015 ford focus all right um the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lift the vehicle i don't believe it's necessary for you to do that but we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to lift the vehicle up and then get underneath there so it makes it easier for us to look underneath all right here we go all right so we're going to go ahead and raise the vehicle and using our jack we're gonna get underneath and you see that this little notch right here that's where the jacking safety jacking point is so we're gonna put our jack right there and we're gonna start lifting go ahead my friend oh, hold on watch out yep we're right on the money yep you're right there on the jacking point very good all right let's do it until the front wheel is off the ground or we have enough clearance because we're a big guy i'm a big guy all right here we go we're going to put it up with safety jack stands and get underneath to show you how to drain it coolant. All right, guys. Next step is to remove the bottom cover. And for this, we're going to use a T30 for our torque screws and the regular Phillips screwdriver for our Phillips screws. All right. So we're going to get underneath here and take these screws off. Here we go. There's one. I think it's three. Oh, you took one out? All right, well, yours may have a little bit more, but we only have two in the back right now. We have three in the back, three torques. And then we're gonna get the... Where's the... There's only a, a, a one Phillips right here. Yeah, one and the one that I'll give you. Just like that, bottom cover comes off. All right, guys, once you remove that cover, we're going to come right here on the, uh, if you're standing in front of the car, to so the right, but if you're inside the driver's seat, it's left-hand side. You're going to see this little red tab. And right underneath there is where it drains out. So we're going to try to use, uh, let's see if this works. A screwdriver Ready. and twist it. Ready? Yep, okay. it works. All right, now let me show you how your drain pan set up, and then uh, oh, uh, just twist it. Oh, before that, brother, I'm sorry, let's unscrew the uh, coolant cap. Yeah, all right, so unscrew your coolant cap so you can create maximum airflow and help your coolant drain faster. All right, so once we unscrew that, we're gonna unscrew the bottom and uh, let the coolant flow. Here we go. Here we go. Once you open that, it's gonna start draining. Let it all pour out. We're doing a flush and we're replacing the coolant, so we're not gonna worry about this one. We're gonna dump it back into the old container and go dump it back at the uh, AutoZone. But here we go. It's draining, it's raining, it's flowing, and it's pouring. So let it drain completely until it stops dripping. And then let's pour the, we're gonna screw it back on and pour the new coolant back in. All right guys, so once, it's, once it stops draining, we're gonna close that up. And then we can put the bottom cover back together because we don't have to worry about the bottom anymore. All right, so here we go. All right, so let's tighten this up real quick. There we go. You don't want to over tighten it. Just make sure that you tighten it up. Okay. Here we go. All right. Time to fill up this coolant. So grab your clean funnel. If it's not clean, make sure you clean it up real well. Dry it up. And we're going to get this coolant flowing. You want to go ahead and pour it? And just top it off and, you know, as, as much as it'll take. A Ford Focus takes 6.8 quarts or 6.76 I don't remember 6.8 quarts we're using universal that's what we have right now but if you want to get the Ford Motorcraft coolant by all means do that so we're gonna fast forward until we fill this up for time sake you know I don't want to keep you watching here here we go tip it doesn't hurt to grab the uh, hose and pump it like that to get rid of air bubbles as they come or you can pump it through the system as well. Preferably, it would be this hose, but if you can't reach it, that's fine. So, this is one of them. And you pump it like that, 
We should be good. Fill it up until the max line. All right, guys, now with the uh, level on, on max, we're gonna go ahead and re remove this uh, funnel and we're gonna start the engine and leave it running for two minutes, all right, with the cap off, so let's go. All right, guys, by filling up the coolant, we completely replaced the coolant system. Now it's time to uh, basically get the system flowing and bleed it. Let's get in the car and start the vehicle. All right, here we go. Start the car and put the heater on max. All right. Turn it all the way up on max. Here we go. And then we're gonna run it for two minutes at 2,500 RPMs. Here we go. All right, so after the two minutes are up, come check it out. Of course, constantly be checking because you don't want to be running low and overheat your engine. Here we go. We're going to put the cap back on. Get the cap so here. We're going to close it. And we're going to run it for four minutes. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, run the vehicle for, like I said, for four minutes. Two minutes at 4,000 RPMs. And then, or 3,500. And then the other two minutes at 2,000 RPM. Here we go. Now two minutes at 2,000. So here we go. All right, timer's done. And now we're running at a uh, optimal temperature, or I should say, operating temperature we're good to go now and that is how you drain the coolant system replace the coolant system i mean drain the coolant replace the coolant with some new coolant and then bleed the system on your car guys there you go if you learned something today hit that like and subscribe button if this goes over uh goes down a little bit that's fine wait until the car uh gets cold open that up pour the new coolant in and then you're good to go thank you so much for watching guys hit that like and subscribe see you on the next one Bye-bye.